What is printmaking? Printmaking is an art process where you transfer an image from a surface onto paper. When you do printmaking, you are like a human copy machine and can make multiple prints that look the same or similar to each other. This year, we will open a new studio called Printmaking. Before we fully open this studio, we will spend a few weeks learning some printmaking techniques so that we can all be successful when we work in this studio independently at a later date. In this video, we will learn how to create screen prints. Screen printing is the process of transferring a stenciled design onto a flat surface using a mesh screen, ink, and a squeegee. Screen printing can be used to create artwork, posters, fabric, and clothing. The materials you will need for screen printing are a pencil, four pieces of construction paper, you may choose the colors, one piece of construction paper to create your stencil, one screen, a tray of ink and a spoon provided by the teacher, and a popsicle stick to use as a squeegee. The screen printing process will take three art classes to complete because we can only print one color per day. The colors need to dry between layers. We will use the primary ink colors, red, yellow, and blue. Plan your idea. Will you create something from your imagination or will you experiment with the materials? Choose an idea that will utilize medium to large geometric or organic shapes. To begin, Number all four sheets of your construction paper like a professional printmaker. You will number the prints as a fraction. This means print number one out of a total of four prints. Sign your name and add your class code. Today I'm pretending to be part of 4L. Then go through your remaining sheets of construction paper and number them two out of four, three out of four, and four out of four. All of these prints should have your name and your class code. You will print them in this order. Next, draw your shapes with a pencil and cut them out with a pair of scissors. In my example, I created shapes using a Sharpie pen so that you could see them more easily on the video. Please use a pencil to create your stencils so that you have the ability to erase and make changes while you design your shapes. On your first piece of paper, arrange your pieces under the screen, making sure to register the top of the screen with the top of the paper. Register means to line up. Spoon out a row of paint along the top edge of the screen, then use the edge of a popsicle stick to spread the paint across the screen. Be sure to work the popsicle stick into the corners and edges of the screen. Scrape off extra paint back into the container. Carefully lift up your screen to reveal your design. Try not to get fingerprint smudges on the edges of your paper. Repeat the process with your remaining prints. Register the screen at the top of your paper, spoon out the paint in a line, and spread the paint with a popsicle stick. Place all four of your prints on the drying rack, then peel off your old stencils from the screen and put in the trash. The screen is ready to be used by the next artist without washing it. For day two of screen printing, you will need your four prints, a new screen, an ink tray with paint provided by the teacher, a popsicle stick to use as a squeegee, construction paper to create new patterns, a pencil, and a pair of scissors. Please note that you'll be drawing your stencils with a pencil so that you can erase and make changes. I used a Sharpie pen in this video so that you could see it on camera better. Cut out and arrange your stencils. Register the screen along the top edge of the paper. Spoon out a line of paint along the top edge of the paper. Use the edge of the popsicle stick like a squeegee to spread the paint around the screen, adding more paint if needed. Work the popsicle stick into the corners and edges of the screen, and be sure to wipe off extra paint back into the container. 
Carefully lift your screen to reveal your design, being careful not to touch the paper with messy fingers. Repeat the process with your remaining prints. Register the screen at the top edge of your paper, spoon out the paint in a line, then spread the paint with a popsicle stick. Move your prints to the drying rack and place your wet stencil pieces in the trash. The screen is ready for the next artist without washing. Let's see if you can guess the steps for day three of screen printing. What materials do you need? You will need your prints from the previous two classes, a new screen, a tray with ink provided by the teacher, a popsicle stick to use as a squeegee, new paper so that you can create stencils, and a reminder that you will be drawing your stencils with a pencil. What do you do now? Cut out and arrange your stencils under the screen. Register your screen with the top edge of the paper. How do you apply the paint? Spoon the paint out in a line. Spread the paint around with the popsicle stick, working it into the corners and edges of the screen and adding more paint if needed. Scrape off extra paint back into the container. After you spread the paint, carefully blank the screen. Carefully lift the screen, trying not to touch your paper with messy fingers. Where do your wet prints go? That's right, on the drying rack. Where do you put your used stencils? Put used stencils in the trash. The screen is ready for the next artist without washing. Thanks for watching. I can't wait to see your prints.